Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Stream. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to connect an M Audio Oxygen 61, or work with a 49 or whatever, to an iPad and an iPhone. Okay, so what you get with your Oxygen uh, 61 or 49, you get the MIDI cable, okay? Uh, yeah, the, you know, the USB MIDI cable like that, that thing. You know, like you get with a printer. Um, I've already got one plugged into the back. At the back of the oxygen, there are only three things: an on-off switch, an input jack for the sustain pedal, which you don't need, which I, which you don't need if unless you want a sustain pedal, you buy that separately, and also the input for uh, this end of the actual USB MIDI cable. It's like a printer cable, you know. So. What you need to do is first of all you're going to need a camera connection kit either with the lightning connector on the end and the usb like that or if you're using an older ipad like a 2 you're going to need the 30 pin with the usb in like that okay so let's see just let me put that back on there first of all then you want to take your the end of your usb cable that's coming out of the back of the oxygen there and just plug it into the iPad camera connection kit like that and then take the iPad camera connection kit lightning connector and plug it in to the iPad uh, now now you're ready to go basically so what you need to do now is switch on your M um, audio okay so you find the the actual switch at the back and then straight away you'll see this will pop up and it will say Accessory, I don't know if you can read that, but accessory unavailable. The attached accessory uses too much power. So just press OK. And then disconnect this. Do not turn off the M audio at the back. If you're using this with an iPod or an iPhone, my advice is do not ever turn it off at the back because it obviously sends some sort of tiny electrical spike and the iPad thinks it's drawing too much power. Once it's switched on at the back, the M audio, you can just plug this in and it will switch the M audio on, as you can probably see over here. It's all come on. So now you're ready to go. So now you pick the synthesizer that you want to use, like this one, for instance, by Yonak, Casper. And then you're uh, basically good to go. There's no setting up, there's no latency. <laughs> And that's how you do it for your iPad. And it's exactly the same for the iPhone, but I'll show you anyway. So like I said before, you just disconnect this without turning it off. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn the volume down on the actual output here. Otherwise it'll go click, click, click. So we can leave that there now. Grab your iPhone, I'll plug this in there like this and you'll see that I have Nano Studio open but I shall close it now for the purposes of this and then plug in the lightning connector there open the synth you want to use in this case Nano Studio we'll just go like this just go like this and then turn this back up and um, where we are now it's not making the sound of Eden the synth because I am on the actual drum channel so what I need to do is I'll show you I'll just go to song it, it TRG the drum is on channel one so if I just change on here you'll see that this is set to global there are three things here global PGM and presets and you select them like this so that's global PGM presets global and it's set on channel one by default now. So I'm gonna to go to channel two, and now I'm playing Eden synth. If I go to channel three, I'm playing another Eden synth, which is on channel three. But that's something again to get into, to get into when you have your, when you have your MIDI, MIDI going. But you can see it powers it absolutely fine, and this is just a little old iPhone. Yeah. 
and uh, yeah that's it basically you're done and then when you're finished with it all you can unplug it and then unplug your output and your close your phone <laughs> and that's it done so yeah good to go switch that off um, yeah so that's it guys basically that's how you plug it in and I, I am going to do another video on how you actually can set up your controllers and mapping but basically that was just a quick way to get it there's no actual real setting up to do there's no there's no issues i didn't encounter any problems apart from the initial um powering up thing now it's a class compliant device so it should work with anything that you plug into it basically anything at all so i mean it takes its power from the computer or the or the iPad or the iPhone. There is no batteries. There is no power connection that goes into the back. Nothing at all. It is just what it is. Uh, and like you said, you only get the sustain pedal jack and an on-off switch and then the the USB, which is at the back here, plugged in. And that's it. That's it. And that's all you need. Uh, like I said, just make sure that if you buy a forty-nine or a sixty-one and you when you plug it into your iPad, because M Audio do say that it will work no problem and it does except that i find it only works if i have it actually switched on although it's not actually switched on but the power switch switched on and then plug it in and then i'll just quickly show you again it'll just come straight back on no problem you could do it all day there it goes on okie dokie uh yeah thanks for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel consider becoming a patreon and i will see you guys later